Hello, hello everybody. I'm going to do a little jewelry unboxing today if you guys want to join me. And if you can give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the video if what's your favorite piece or if you liked anything that we have here. So let's dig in. I'm excited and see what we got in today, okay? So one of the first things that I noticed and I just put up here is a belt buckle, women's belt buckle. And it looks like it's by Mimi D. 1973 it says <coughs> excuse me got like a frog in my throat i need to grab a drink real quick you ever have that like get that little tingle in your throat makes you cough so really cute it's a turtle so we have that let me grab my drink real quick okay then it's kind of like an assorted lot. There's all kinds of stuff in here. All right, so this one, let's see, says Made in India, Fetco. And says some other things there. I don't know if that's in a foreign language or what, but I'll show you there the sticker. And it's really pretty. A little trinket box. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope this goes away. I hope I don't have to cough the whole video. Sorry, guys. Okay. And then, let's see what we have in here. Oh, okay. We have, it looks like, a little set, cameo set, necklace, and earrings. Cute. What is this? Oh, it says Coca-Cola. Drink Coca-Cola. And then there's a mirror on the other side. How cool. Okay. And then looks like this is a, a vintage hair comb with um, acrylic, old plastic, Maybe, um, I haven't tested it, so we'll have to see what kind of plastic. I don't want to speculate, but really pretty. All of this I just got in, so let's see. What else is in here in this box? <clears throat> Looks like a little coin purse. How cute. A beaded coin purse. Super cute. Okay. And that's pretty. Tiger's eye. This is a tiger's eye pendant necklace spring ring. Really cool. <clears throat> and what else do we have? We have some bigger items here. I'm going to have to clear this off before we get into some of this bigger stuff. This looks like, what is this? A brooch. Oh, it's a locket brooch. Okay, you can put a little picture in there. And it's got like little chains dangling. Let's see if I can show you. From it. Pretty. Okay. And what else? I just put something. Here it is. Okay, this one... Okay, this is a, a vintage hair, a uh, little hair piece. Look how cute. With the little clip. That is precious. All right. All right, let's make some room. We're kind of full here. So let's get some space. And I hope you guys have been having a fabulous day. How's the weather been? It's it's warm here in Louisiana. Okay. All right. So next up, we have some bigger items here. And this looks like a belt. Oh, how cool. Check this out. And what does it say? It looks like it is a foreign coin type belt. Women's belt. Super cool. Okay. 
I see another belt here. This one is cool. And it stretches. It's like an expansion. It has a stretch to it. Really cool. Okay. And another belt. This one's like a Southwestern style belt. How cool. Okay, so there's that. And then there's a spoon that says Moulin Rouge. And the little fan windmill type spins. And there are some markings there on the spoon. Let's see if we can see what they say. They're really tiny there on the spoon. Really hard to see. It may be a 9 to 5 marking. I'll have to test this for silver. It looks silver. It does have patin patina on it, too. So, super cute. Okay. Get into more. Oh, looks like we have some more hair pieces. Vintage hair pieces. Little uh, glittered type comb with the metal piece on top with the rhinestones. And this one says Davy Crockett. How cute. Okay. What's this? This looks like, um, I think this is a glove clip. A vintage glove clip. But it could be used for other things as well. You could cl clip it on your purse or just collection, display, whatnot. You know, whatever you want to do. And whatnot. Let's see. Patent pending. So I believe that patent pending items are prior to 1950, from what I've learned, if I'm correct. Super cute. Okay, what else we have here? Oh, I love this. Look how pretty. <clears throat> That's cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this one looks silver plated. I'll have to test that one. Because I see the patina there. Looks like um, this is a little horsey pendant. I'd say that could be by best. It kind of looks like their style and design with the silver plating. Super cute. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is really cute. This is a little charm, vintage charm pendant. And it has the little articulated little girls and boys on there. With their little dangling limbs. <laughs> and let's see the back of it. Oh, it looks like they are marked. So I'm going to have to test those. Those are possibly silver. We have that. A nice stone necklace. This one is twisted. Really cool. It looks like possibly carnelian. Barrel closure on that one. Okay, let's make some more room here. So there's some really cool stuff in this lot. <clears throat> All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys. And if you see something you like, you can always email me about it. Or in the comments. This one's cute. Little cherry pendant necklace. Vintage one. Really cute. This one is rose quartz. It looks like faceted rose quartz. And I'd say uh, rhodochrosite up here. Rhodochrosite. Possibly. Very cute necklace. And then we have, oh, I love this one. L.S. I would venture to say Leah Sophia. Let's see. There's a tag right here. Yep, Leah Sophia. This one's Leah Sophia. Super cute. I like that. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what else we have here. 
Okay, now this I'm not too sure about. Maybe something to do... Oh, I man, I don't even want to guess. It does come out. Maybe one of you guys now tell me what this is. Is it for matchsticks or, or what? Tell me what you guys think. Really cool, though. A little vintage piece. I love vintage items. Okay, what else we have here? We have some more necklaces here. This one has a horse galloping on it. Super cute. And it says something on the back. I don't know if we can see what that says. Let's see if I can bring it closer so we can see. 1974, I can see that. And then I'll have to get the loop, I think, on the rest of this. But it, I can see the 1974. Cute. And let's make some more room. We have a few more things to go through. I have some more. Uh, we have some belt buckles here that we got in. Let's look at some of those. That is cute. Silver and gold tone with the horse, and he's holding his head down there. Looks like he's um, almost in a laying, crouching position. Whoop! Butterfingers. Butterfingers. And there was a sticker here, but there's not much left to the sticker, so I can't really see what it says. <clears throat> okay, this one says 1974 Bergamot Brass Works. And it looks like it's the Mayan calendar. Ooh, I like this one. Look how cool that one is. Okay. We got Red Man with the Indian. I like that. This one says something. It says the Pinkerton Tobacco Company, 1988, USA, limited edition belt buckle made exclusively for Red Man. Nice little collectible. Very cool. Pretty picture on there. Okay, let's see. These ones I'm not really too concerned with. Uh, Adidas, but I'll show you guys. And then it looks like a buckle off of a belt. Kenneth Cole. That's Kenneth Cole's a decent brand. Reaction. So we got those. And let's see. Okay, here's some more. Let's get into this bag. All right. We have, let me open it up. Levi Strauss. Levi's. And it says Canada, I think Canada Century. Is that what it says? Canada Century. Cool. All right, and I'm not sure what this one is. It has a C on it, a letter C. Okay, and we have, oh, I like this one, American Eagle Flying. Looks like mountains in the background. And it has this little symbol on the back. Super cool. Okay. Let's get, make some more room. Make some more roomy. <clears throat> A few more belt buckles here to look at. Oh, this one's cool. Let's open this one up. Okay, this one looks like it takes batteries. And then it's got some button settings on and off, up, down. So there's different settings, and it lights up. That's cool. Okay. What is this one? This one looks like a Ford one. Henry Ford Detroit with the Model T. That's really cool. 
And we have one that says, oh, this one's got a name on it, Robbie. Robbie. And it says Odin, made in the USA on the back. And a couple more here in this bag. We have the Longhorn. That's a pretty one with the Longhorn on it. And that's silver and gold tone, two-tone. Nice two-tone with the Longhorn. Super cool. Okay. Let's see. This one is really cool. AV-8B Airplane. That is awesome. And it says it's from the Buckle Connection. Okay. I'll make some more room here because we have a couple more in this bag, it looks like. So let's make some room. Okay. A Longhorn one. Super cool. And this one looks old. Nickel-plated alpaca. Western wear. It's got the old tag on it from this Western Weisenberg or something like that. Weisenberg's Western wear. And it says nickel plated. 99 on the number. Super cool. And then, oh, I like this one. Rodeo. Look at the rodeo. And a guy riding in the rodeo and he's getting bucked up in the air wow and this one's got some writing on it rodeo is a series of western events taking great skill and courage rodeo is very exciting and is a sport is second to none and it says l-30 1980 i think 1985 siski u um, Buckle Company Incorporated, Williams, Oregon, I believe that says. Really cool one. And that's the rodeo. Okay, let's see what else. I think there's one more in this bag. And this one, oh, I love this one too. Bass Angler, Angler Sportsman Society. And it's got this beautiful bass. And the emblem down here on the bottom, really pretty. And it says, Made in the USA, right there. Really cool one. Okay. Make a little more room. So we have that one. Let's dig in and see what else we have here. Okay, looks like we have a pocket knife here. This one's a cool one. I like the colors on this one. Look how pretty. A little vintage pocket knife. Let's see if I can open it. Yep. That's cool. And it's got a little, like a little shell symbol right there. Super cool. I like those colors. Really pretty. Okay, let's see what else we have. Looks like we have a couple of buckles. Uh, no, not buckles. I meant to say money clips. A couple of money clips. And it has some type of emblem. On that one. Really cool. Money clip. And let's see. I think there's a couple more money clips in here. Let me get them out. Here's one. Really cool with that crest on it. And one more in here. And it has that crest. Very pretty. So we have those three. Super cool. All right, let's see what else we can get into. I think we have a little bit left, not much more to get through for you guys. All right, oh, this is a cute little necklace. 
this one has it looks like whoops it got caught on something what does it say let's see if i can see what that says w o t maybe an m and 12-75 1975 and it's a little girl in her dress how cute precious so we have that Okay, make some room here. Oh, this one's cool. Look at this one. He is awesome. He's heavy too. Very cool. Reminds me of like Tiki, like a torch little dude. Super cool. Okay, this one is Rose Quartz. Rose quartz is very good in healing to wear rose quartz is very beneficial. Very pretty necklace, little pendant there, necklace. Okay. Um, this one has a little, a little uh, articulated little girl. I believe that's a little girl because she has a dress. I think the round ones, the other ones are little boys. Super cool. Okay, we have that one. Let's see what other ones we have left. My little feet are messed up. My OCD is driving me crazy when they're not straight, or at least semi-straight. And this is an old piece. How cool. Okay. Oh, how cute. This one's cute. It's a little girl and it says Molly. How cute. Little girl and it says Molly. Okay, and this one's cute. This one looks like more like Southwestern. And it's a wolf howling at the moon, it looks like. And it's got the little dangling feathers. Possibly a little crushed turquoise there. Really cute one. Okay. And we got a couple more here. This one looks like a locket. Mm-hmm. It's a locket with a little floral design really cute and what else what else this one's really cool this one has a little animal on it let's see i think that's a zebra this one's really old very lightweight so that could be a uh, wood or something along those lines that's a little old animal really cool and i think we're almost done here yep so that's just about it so thank you guys so much for coming i really appreciate you guys if you can give me a thumbs up i'd appreciate it and remember you are awesome i'll see you guys live soon Bye bye love you Mwah.